Let's continue on with the campaign. Okay, looks like we'll be going into space now. Pretty cool scene from the movie. Alright, so for those who are unfamiliar with uh, space combat in this game, it's pretty straightforward. As the Clone Wars progressed, more and more ground-based legions found themselves pressed into space combat, including the fighting forces of the 501st. For months, every hour of our downtime was spent in the simulator, preparing for the time we would face our enemies from the cockpit of a 170. Finally, the day came to earn our wings. The CIS had staged a daring kidnapping of Chancellor Palpatine and was being escorted from Coruscant by a fleet of Separatist ships. With only a few veteran pilots on planet, many of the 501st were pressed into service to drive off the Seps and buy time for a pair of Jedi Knights to rescue the Chancellor. Alright, so our command post will be located on our own ship. Uh, you can only pick between a couple of classes, being a pilot or a marine. Pilots have some repair equipment. Uh, it's called a fusion cutter, so it'll let them repair their ships or repair their own um, capital ship systems. Marines have automatic guns, you know, blaster rifles, and a rocket launcher on them, so that way they can help uh, deal more damage to uh, enemy systems. I will be going with the pilot for the time being. Repeat, bomber incoming. Pilots and Marines, get to your ships. The Jedi are depending on you. Yep. This is not a drill. Repeat, this okay. is not a drill. Okay, so this is the hangar bay. This is where we'll be spawning into. Um, there will always be, like, droids around here close by. Uh, in order to heal us up and give us refreshes on equipment, should we need to be fighting anything in here. Uh, it doesn't let us go back there yet. That's fine. This is not a uh, so you can pick from any of the ships that are currently spawned out here, but right now they're only spawning one type. All you have to do is get it, and we're in space. So yep, you can press uh, square in order to lock on to enemies or enemy right, systems, then you. you can just fire missiles at them. And as you can see, they're target seeking regardless of distance. So that works out pretty well when trying to fight against uh, a lot of these other fighters, but sorry, I'm just getting minorly distracted by everything going on. So we do have escort ships, um, which are the giant red and white things. Uh, these are completely destructible. I can target them. I can shoot at them, and eventually they will. Um, eventually they will be destroyed, though. But if you had a bomber, it'd be easier. Uh, what's our objective here again? I think we just had to destroy some enemies. Oh yeah, we just have to destroy some of these. Get back to the battle. You've got company. There's a lot more than two. Take out that fighter. Come on, where is he? There we go. Oh. Finish off that I barely bomber. dodged that. Come on. Got a 
flanking clan ship acting as a frigate for the droids. Destroy it. Yeah, I already know how to do that. I'll just take down this one guy there. I think that was friendly fire there for a second. Have I? Take down that tri fighter. Come on. All right, I'm just going to speed away here. Turn back around. Or no, wait, it was this one, wasn't it? Oh. Main CIS ships. We need their shields down as quickly as possible. Okay. So the shields will completely encompass the ship. If you just deal any damage to it on its exterior, it should destroy the shield, except for like the engines in the back of it. Um, as you destroy a capital ship's um, exposed systems, it will. Oh, I'm about to die. Incoming missiles, huh? Yep, I'm dead. Uh, let's go as a marine this time. Any new types? No. Same old, same old. Um, so something else is like the fighter pilots will also slowly repair their aircraft when they're in them. So that'll be pretty neat. Uh, if you can survive long enough. Those missiles are relentless. <laughs> I've got about got that shield off. Take down the droid communications array. That'll give you an opening. All right. <laughs> And now I'm switching back. This is not a drill. Uh, one of my favorite things to do in space missions is to just go on and, and grab like a, a gunship because it acts as like a uh, secondary respawn point and you can take it over into the enemy's capital ship, land it in their hangar bay and just endlessly respawn off of it if you can keep it alive. Well done. Now that they're in disarray, fly into their hangar and land. Be careful. Yep. So all I've got to do is watch out for departing fighter craft. Come on in here, carefully, land. Use rockets or time bombs to destroy the internal systems. Yep. I'll just make this quick. Um, so all of the interiors are kind of the same when it comes to these ships, uh, except the CIS ones have like a completely uh, open interior for their hangar bay. Most of the other uh, capital ship types are only like one hangar door, like what we just saw in uh, the Republic Cruiser. Ow. Yep, so this is where we're going to want this guy. Prep your ships for battle. Uh, let's approach from the other side this time. I think it'll come in low, too. Uh, normally we would have, like, uh, numbers on the upper left and right screen in blue and red for, uh, how many points we'd be scoring. Oh. I am terrible at this. Land. Okay, good. Oh, and you can also take the uh, enemy's ships and stuff as well. So basically what I would do is I would come inside, ransack the internal systems, and then I'd grab one of their own bombers and leave with it. Much easier. Oh, and all of the interiors are protected by these two auto turrets. 
Um, they're kind of a pain to deal with if you're not aware of them. Uh, there's only four of them on board the ship, if I remember correctly. Uh, the shields are already destroyed, so you should see... Oh yeah, I can't view it here. Uh, life support's in here. Of course, it's a CIS ship. Uh, they're not going to want us to destroy that. Let's uh, take out their auto turret defenses. So these would be like a bunch of external guns on the ship that aren't manned. Um, all of these little consoles around here, can I get in them? I can. So as you can see, we're actually out on the exterior of the ship. And you can switch between them, you know, as you please for a variety of different types. Oh, and I got killed by my own people. Nice. Attention. Um, on deck. But yeah, you could basically just use your own uh, turrets here on the capital ship you spawn on or on your enemies if you really wanted to um but there are automatic ones that are npc driven by that like center column i was throwing grenades at before uh if you destroy that then they'll lose some uh firepower out here it'll be a little bit easier in order to take down fighter craft and stuff without being constantly bombarded by the ship Nope. Nope, I'm not doing this. Come on. Oh, I'm about to die already. Where are the internal droids? Oh, whatever, I'll risk it. Yeah, I'm not that great at this. Uh, normally there are spots in those rooms that you can cheese. Man, their hangar bay is going to be filled with my ships. Yeah, I just can't dodge those. Attention, clear the hangar area. All right, let's try this again. I can't believe this is taking me so long. In uh, instant action, usually I'm a lot faster at this. But since I have a very limited type of ships, I'm only able to use fighter craft right now. It's kind of difficult for me to maneuver around. And also the droids aren't stationed where they normally would be either, because this is a campaign mission. Yep, they're firing their own rockets at me. Do not want. <laughs> yep, just gonna skip through the auto turrets here. Just gonna run straight through. Uh, that one's gone. That one's gone too, okay, interesting. Where are you? There he is. Get back here. Usually it takes um, my entire kit here, plus a couple rockets or grenades. Unless this is extra ammunition, I cannot reach. Okay. Uh, usually the uh, enemies in here will also drop... Um, Supply packs. Yeah, I like that. So now I'll have what I need. Hopefully. Usually takes a couple. Oh yeah, this should be enough. Now, grab a fighter and destroy the bridge of the enemy cruiser. Yep.
Bring some back to here. Excellent. I mean, I guess I could use my own, but I kind of wanted to use one of theirs. Um. Yep, looks like I'm going to have to. Ah, there we go. Hey. There we are. So the droid fighters are just a tad bit faster than ours and can cover just a bit more ground, but their weapons are weaker um, for the most part, at least as far as I'm aware. Well we done, gents. With flying like that, the Republic is well on its way to victory. Excellent. After disabling the final capital ship, General Kenobi and Skywalker took advantage of the opportunity we'd created and rescued the Chancellor. Took all the credit, too. <laughs> uh, yep. That's how it goes. All right, well, I'm going to call it here for this episode. Thanks for watching me play this. I'll see you next time.